The Not Jane Austen Dance Society is a cozy mystery series whose main character, Jane Austen, loves historical dancing. I thought it would be fun to show you some of the tricks I used to transform my plain brown Regency Day dress into a ball gown over the holidays. I went to two balls. In December, I went to the St. Nicholas Holiday Ball. And in January, I went to the Jane Austen evening. I wore the same dress to both, but I embellished it in different ways. And in today's video, I'm going to show you what I did for the St. Nicholas Holiday Ball. Hope you enjoy. Tomorrow is the St. Nicholas Holiday Ball in Pasadena, and I am so excited to go. I am loving this historical dancing, and tomorrow is going to be a costume ball where we wear Victorian or Regency or any other era of formal dress. Um, my costume is actually a day dress, not a ball gown, but it's what I've got to work with right now. And, and they're okay with that. We're not real strict on uh, costuming in our groups, in our local groups here. Which is nice because costuming can get expensive. Anyway, um, I've been working on some ideas to make my dress more festive for the ball. And I wanted to show you what I come up with. I have Maggie, my mannequin, up on a tray table because I need to work near the bottom of the skirt. This is just some nice satiny ribbon I got from the dollar store. I started out with a velvety one, but I like this one better, so I swapped it out. I also got some poinsettias. I'm going to take them off the stems and sew them around the bottom of the dress. Yes, I am holding the common pins in my mouth. Do not try this at home. I'm just placing the poinsettias with one pin right now so that I can move them around until I get them where I want them. I also had some holly berries that I put up on the bodice. A little bit off center. We'll readjust that before I sew it. So when I took the flowers off the stems, they fell apart. So now I'm putting the leaves back on, but it works out great because I can arrange them so they look nice around the flowers. I'm pretty happy with this placement here. Um, I did have some inspiration for this um, idea uh, from my Pinterest boards. So I'll see if I can find the one that I'm thinking of and stick it in the video here. Uh, now I'm going to take my matching brown thread. Always helps to match the thread. I'm going to take a few stitches around each of the flowers. It'll be a little bit tedious, but I'll try and film some of that. Hopefully it'll come out. And if I have time, I will take a few stitches around the ribbon belt. Uh, otherwise, I'll just pin that on because that seems to work well and the pins don't show. But don't tell. It's my secret. 
So, all right, got to get to work now. There's Mrs. Susie running away. There I've got my matching brown thread and threading the needle, always fun. I didn't want to stitch all the way around the flowers because I knew I'd be taking them back off after the ball, so I just tacked down each petal and leaf. And there's Mr. Cuddles! He is trying to steal my toys. Here he comes again. <laughs> what a scaredy cat. And there's still some stem pieces on the leaves, so I'm hiding those behind the petals. The holly berries got the same treatment. It was a little easier because they didn't come apart from the leaves. Finally, I tacked down the belt with long running stitches because that was going to come off too after the ball. Of course, it's always more complicated in reality than it is in my head. This project was fairly simple and I had a lot of fun with it. And I sure was very happy with how it turned out.
Tomorrow is the Saint Nicholas. <sighs> Tomorrow is the Saint. <sighs> now I'm going to take a look. 